live and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real. Where edutainment is yeah, what I do. Now it is time. Time for what you might ask. Now hang on a second. I'm gonna tell you if you give me half a chance. But before I tell you, this is what I need y'all to do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the Be Real with D Real page so that when new material comes out, you get first crack at it. Like this one right here. If you're digging what a brother's shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to the page. All right. Um, I'm not going to talk about Thor Love and Thunder. That's not what I want to talk about. That makes it sound like you know, I'm, I'm, I'm bitter and salty if I start bagging on it. You know, it's doing numbers, but to talk about it is, it ain't good. So I'm going to let the rest of the critics and, 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 and content providers who are already giving it the once over to do what they do. Because from what I've seen, they're doing a grand job. Um, so uh, I'm going to leave that to those that went and seen Thor Love and Thunder. I've just seen a couple of scenes online. Um, other than that, I don't even know what to say. Uh, that's not where I'm at. Right now, it's time to draw a line to sand as far as the recast T'Challa movement. First of all, um, I'm getting ready to stop calling it the recast T'Challa movement because it has become painfully apparent nobody over at Marvel has any intention of recasting T'Challa, at least not in this movie. So since they have decided to do what they do, I've decided to do what I do, and we gonna boycott Black Panther 2, Wakanda forever. What does that consist of? Other than not seeing the movie, well, it's a Marvel Studios product. And so many of you have come to the conclusion, like myself, that you ain't going to be fucking with no Marvel Studios productions, period. They, they don't deserve my money. Okay? Now, understand what I'm saying here. It's pretty plain and simple. They don't deserve my money. I'm not putting any money into Marvel Studios anymore because phase four has shown me that Marvel has become an entity so engorged and, 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 and just inundated on its own profits that it appears that they are of a mind that they don't have to give any more deep thought to any more of their projects. They just, it's like, okay, open up a Black Panther comic book. I'm gonna take this, 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 and this out of it. Never mind that those four or five things aren't even related to one another or, or, or can't tell a coherent enough story on their own. We just doing it because we can do it. It doesn't matter. As long as it's a superhero and there's explosions and there's fights, we don't give a damn about canon and, and, and we don't give a damn about what characters are what. Now, understand how a character becomes beloved. A character becomes beloved because fans become attached to that character and want to see more of that character. Okay, Thor at, at present has four movies under his belt. That's his story arc. And all the other major superheroes, uh, Iron Man, Captain America, they've had three movies to tell their story arc. So the big three get at least three. But everybody else, maybe, maybe not. And then you're done telling Steve Rogers' story. Tony Stark is dead, but we know death doesn't stop everything now with the advent of the multiverse, the ultimate do-over. 
So I'm sure there are plans to do certain characters over. Why wouldn't we do that one back there over? Oh, that's right. Um, they're taking him out of the game to honor him. Okay. Where do they do that in sports? Okay, they retire jerseys to honor a particular athlete. Okay, you're honoring Chadwick Boseman by, I don't know what it is you're doing. I'm gonna just be honest. You're honoring, you, you think what it is you're doing with your movie is honoring Chadwick Boseman. And you may truly believe that what you are doing is honoring him. But I submit this to you. On December 8th, Derek Bozeman stated in an interview with Urban Faith Ministries that he spoke to his brother and his brother wanted that role to continue. Recently, information has been released uh, about Chadwick's niece, Bria, saying she and Chadwick had conversations and he told her he wants the role of T'Challa to continue. So here's two relatives, two blood relatives saying they spoke to the man before he died and he said he wanted the role to continue. So how the hell are you honoring him if you're not even listening to the family? Are you honoring him by ignoring the family? Are you honoring him by propping all these celebrities up like puppets, getting them to say what you want them to say? Okay? Martin Freeman feels strange strange about what went on. It, it didn't seem the same because Chadwick wasn't there. Well, of course, Martin, it's not going to seem the same. You don't make a James Bond movie without Sean Connery, Roger Moore, Pierce Brosnan, or Daniel Craig on the set. So yeah, I, I, I agree, Mr. Freeman. It's going to feel strange because it's not something you should be doing. Is a decision you made in minutes. You said it yourself, Nate. You said it yourself, Kevin. You said it yourself, Ryan. It's a decision y'all made in minutes. It's a decision you made with your emotions and not with your brain. So because I'm revealing what you guys have been doing, honestly, and it ain't to pick on nobody or single nobody out. It's the kick facts. Where's the lies at? Where's the, the mistruths at? Are we, are we picking on Marvel Studios? How can I, me, as a lowly content provider that doesn't have near the influence as, say, uh, 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 everything always or, or, or a comic book cast that's harassing a multi-billion dollar company with my opinions and my observations. I'm doing that? How am I doing that? If I'm not lying, it's not harassment. Is it? I mean, what are we, because this is what I've been told. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that I should not come out and speak and tell the truth and say what I feel is really going on based on information and facts that have already transpired. And I'm not getting ready to go into all of those facts. I'm not getting ready to go into the Urban Faith video. You can Google that. You can look that up. I'm not getting ready to go into what uh, Bria said. You can Google that. I'm not getting ready to go into what Kevin Bozeman, his younger brother said. You can Google that too. Okay? All of this information is available. To you, I have videos that I put these 
LinkedIn, okay? If you've been rocking with me, if you've been following me, if you've been following anybody in this movement, all this information I'm talking about has circulated and regurgitated and everybody at one time or another who is pro recast has given this information to the masses. So the information is out there. You go find it and stop telling me I need to post the link or I need to show you a video or I need to go to a site. No, no, I don't. You do because you're the one who does not believe it. And when I say you, I mean the skeptical. I mean the uninformed. I mean the anti-recasters. I mean, yeah, an everyday ordinary moviegoer who doesn't have a blessed clue of the machinations and designs of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, Nate Moore, and Ryan Coogler. Now, these are all the people involved on the project. Where's the lie at? I'm still not lying. I'm still not not telling the truth, okay? If we feel like it's okay to just allow this, to go on and not say anything. Oh, oh, wait, that's right. We've got to wait for the trailer to drop, which will probably drop during Comic-Con. If it doesn't drop during Comic-Con, what'd that tell you? If they don't drop something during Comic-Con with regards to Black Panther Wakanda forever, what does that say to you? I know what it says to me. They are either concerned about how well or not so well that movie's going to do. I mean, duh, any movie creator is going to think about that. But I feel like they're going to be concerned about that more so, which is why they're moving like they're on eggshells when it comes to Wakanda forever. They want to make sure what they drop doesn't put a black eye on them. So then my question becomes, if they are truly so concerned about dropping something that may paint them in a negative light, hmm, does that mean that they know they've actually done something that's going to shine a negative light on them? I mean, any other time, they were just cranking out trailers. They were just cranking out previews. No problem. I mean, generally, when do you see a trailer? I saw the trailer for Black Adam. And I know it's a DC movie. But I saw the trailer for Black Adam like a couple of months ago. And that movie doesn't even drop until October. What the problem is? I mean, we done, we done seen the art for Namor, <laughs> cringe. We done seen the art for Atuma. We done seen what Shuri and Okoye look like, but we ain't got no actual scenes from the movie itself. No teaser trailer. Are you concerned that there isn't a teaser trailer for Black Panther Wakanda forever yet? I know what you're saying. They're Marvel, and they can drop that trailer whenever they feel like it. They're Marvel, and they can make whatever movie they want to make the way they want to make it. So shut your ass up, D-Real. You're right. They can make a movie any way they want to make it. But if they're making a project that is offensive to fans, I'm going to talk about it. That's my job, to tell my truth. If they're making a movie and, and, and they are proceeding or, or they have proceeded to make this movie under false pretenses, of, uh, 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 under false premises, they can be called out now. We don't have to wait for a movie trailer to do that. We, we have Gary Bozeman, Bria, and Kevin right there, the family. Ain't none of these people saying what they saying about honor talked to the Bozemans. That is a fact. It is indisputable. It's not a rumor, okay? 
uh, Vox from New Rock Stars lied and said that the family had been contacted. They have not. They were not, nor have they been up to this point, as far as I know. So, what information am I releasing or talking about that's going to be disrespectful? What information am I releasing that's not true? How am I, a little tiny insignificant page on YouTube, getting ready to make Marvel Studios crumble? Nah, I'm not going to do that, at least not by myself anyway. So that's why I'm saying right now to y'all, we've seen enough, we've heard enough to say boycott Black Panther 2. Boycott Black Panther Wakanda forever. Boycott whatever the heck that movie is getting ready to be called. Because they are not being respectful to the fans. They are not being respectful to older fans. New fans or who they're being respectful to. They couldn't give a damn about older fans who have been in this and, 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 and have loved T'Challa since before 2016. That's what I got. Boycott Black Panther Wakanda forever. For the people who didn't hear it in the back. Boycott Black Panther, Wakanda, forever. Because they are not honoring the wishes of the fans. Period. That's it. I don't need another reason. You know, if, if I felt passionate about it, I, if, or excuse me, if I didn't feel passionate about it, I would just ignore the situation and I wouldn't say anything about it. I don't expect T'Challa to get recast at this point. I'm not that naive, okay? If it happens, miracle of God, praise the Lord, hallelujah. If it doesn't, I am not that gullible. But in the same vein, if you expect me to just sit down and be quiet and they don't drop that trailer until October, you're tripping. You smoking that good good if you think I'm just gonna be quiet for months upon months. I understand some people believe there are levels to this. Some people believe that it's chess. I make a move, then you make a move. I make a move, then you make a move. Okay, that's how chess works. But I've often thought to myself, maybe this ain't chess. Maybe it's war. You know what I'm saying? And in war, you don't wait for your opponent to attack you. You don't wait for your opponent to fortify their defenses. If you see that you surgically struck and where you struck them popped a crack open, you go in that crack and you destroy. You Well, I ain't gonna say destroy, but you go in there and you secure. You go in there and you secure. You take, whether that's a beachhead, whether that's a, 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 a desert or, or ownership of what's right in a movie. I understand you making the movie, but you want people to come see that movie. Those people would be fans. And if you are isolating and alienating your fans, it is my responsibility to tell you the fans ain't coming. You, you see what's going on with Thor Love and Thunder right now, Feige. You see what's going on with it, right? Correct course. Y'all about to crash and burn. And, and that's just my opinion. Nobody else's. I think you're about to crash and burn. But, I mean, if that's what y'all doing, do what y'all do. But you need to know, we ain't buying your brand. Literally, we're not buying it. Okay, so love, peace, and hair grease. I, 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 I truly hope that the same people that were stepped on on the way up, you hit every rung on the ladder on the way down. I mean, I don't mean that in no mean way. I mean that in a destiny kind of way. If, if, if you screwing over everybody, you ignoring everybody, if you're saying, 
you know, I don't nobody care. I mean, you arguing with your co-stars on Miss Marvel. You know, you going back and forth with 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 with, with, with the young lady in Miss Marvel because she's trying to correct you about 616, which I think I did say too on this very channel. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it at that, y'all. Okay. I think y'all got enough information to marinate on at this point. Uh boycott Black Panther Wakanda forever. Okay. It's the concept of it is not viable, and it's not something that fans want to see. How you feel about this? Tell me how you feel in the comments. And as always, I'll be coming at y'all with another one of these other ones. And until I do, yo, y'all, be good. Be good to each other.